everyone, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another series and this is the Friends Series 2 from the Makeup Revolution collection that they came out with the TV series Friends. And for this video, I am using the door frame palette and it looks like that. Honestly, I did have fun creating this look with you guys. Of course, I did have some issues with the palette that you're going to see in this tutorial. But this is what I came up with today and I feel like it's quite fun bright lips which you know it's pink you guys don't see me wear pink here often but I really 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 like this color so before I go ahead and show you guys this tutorial make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get notified every time I upload a new video and I would love to have you guys on the light family that I have here on my channel it would really mean a lot to me. saying that if you guys want to see how I created this look please keep on watching As you guys could see in this tutorial, I have the other eye done, but I still have to talk a little bit about the palette and what I think about it. You're going to see while I'm doing this eye with all the steps, I'm going to be talking about certain colors that I use on this eye. But before I go ahead and start off anything, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eye and I'm using my P. Louise primer and this is in Rumor 1. I'm just going to add a little dab and then take my finger and blend it first like just smudge it around and then I'm gonna take my sponge to go ahead and blend it all over so this is the palette that we're using today and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this shade right here this is just going to be a shade that I'm gonna be putting on my brow bone like a background color to just help with the blending and this one is called whisker scent and it looks like that and I'm just gonna take it with a big eyeshadow brush any eyeshadow brush that you have will work and I'm just going to go ahead and dust that on the brow bone area and I'm also going to be bringing it down as you guys can see on my face I am currently still baking my face I do have some loose powder going on just because there is going to be quite a few fallouts from the eyeshadow so just go ahead and add some loose powder on there and then just at the end you're gonna dust it all off anyways next color is called science guy and it looks like that it looks kind of like a brown color but honestly once it's on it's more like of a purple tone believe it or not so i'm just gonna take a little bit of that and i'm taking it on a fluffy crease brush and i'm just going to go ahead and dust science guy on the crease area so I don't know if you guys could catch the color but this is a light purple shade and it, co it looks completely different than what's on the pan to be honest I mean I don't see it as the same color whatsoever <laughs> but it's kind of cool it's kind of magical as well mystical <laughs> mystical oh. and this is just gonna go on my crease area it's a very pretty shade, but does it look like the color on the pan? Let me just show you my eye and look at the pan. The pan, my eye. The pan, my eye. Quite different. <laughs> Still a pretty shade, like I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's a pretty shade, but it just doesn't look like what's on the pan okay so once this color is placed on the crease i'm gonna go ahead and apply a lit color and this is a color that I was really really excited about but i was quite disappointed with and this one is called dr drake Ramore, which is this shade right here look how beautiful it looks on the pan but it doesn't look like that on the eyelid that's what i was really disappointed with uh but it's such a beautiful color i mean Come on, like how nice that would be as like actual color being on your lid, how beautiful it is. But I'm gonna still go ahead and grab it, obviously, because I did my other eye. And I'm grabbing it with a eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this color on my lid. First of all, you can see the fallouts here on my face, but that's okay. Most of eyeshadows in general, there's some fallout, so it's not the only palette. There's a lot of palettes that I have that gives you fallout, but that's not the issue. The issue is the color and the pigmentation. I just don't find it that pigmented, and I just find it, again, the more you blend it, it kind of like fades away, which is very weird formula. I don't know why it does that, but it just 
it does that and it's the same thing with the taxi cap um, palette that I already filmed the tutorial here on my channel if you guys haven't watched it it's going to be linked somewhere up here but again I just I'm not too impressed with the pigments in the series 2 like I don't know what they did they killed it for the series 1 like the eyeshadows were amazing but this one I was like I'm not too impressed you guys like I'm quite disappointed because it's such an amazing collection. But I'm still going to go ahead and add this color on my eyelid. And you're going to see me pack this color quite often for this look. So I'm just packing it first and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. But I just want to kind of place it first. I don't know if you guys could catch on camera. I mean on camera it looks very nice. But in real life it's not as nice. So I'm going to take the first brush that I used and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it into the crease with Science Guy. Now I do have some fallout on my face and I don't like to keep that because it annoys me. So I'm just going to take a brush and brush it all out. Even though I'm still going to have some more fallouts but I'm just OCD like this. I'm just going to pack a little bit more of Dr. Drake Remore and I'm just concentrating it on the crease area and lightly blending it only in the crease i'm not gonna bring it down because i don't want it to fade off like you really need to keep a super light hand because you don't want to blend too much or else the eyeshadow is going to kind of fade off which is really weird next i'm taking a color called cups and ice which is this one right here it's a very nice soft pinky peachy tone i don't know how to explain it but it's it's a beautiful pinky tone. There's there's a little bit of peach, there's a little bit of pink in it, um, but it's super beautiful. I'm just going to take this color and I'm just going to apply it on the crease area, but where I applied the light shade and now the purple shade, and I'm just going to blend everything out with this color. It's just going to give you a light hint of pink in the background. Next color, I really enjoyed playing with this one because it's quite pigmented and this is called Frank Jr. Jr. and it's a very nice uh, berry color. That's what it is. I've never seen a berry color so beautiful like that, like an actual berry color. Um, <coughs> no, I got it on my, my life. I got that color on my sweater. I hope it doesn't stain my sweater. And I'm just going to take this color and I'm going to pop it on the lower lash line. Now this is a color that I wish I actually applied on my lid. But you know, maybe another look if you guys want to see another look using this. You see here now I have some fallouts but thank god I have some loose powder so I can easily clean it up. And then same shade, I'm just going to go ahead and flick this eyeshadow out as a under wing. And I'm going to follow the other eye as much as possible. Now I'm going to go ahead and add that nice shimmery silver going on. And this is called Big White Dog. And it looks like that. And I'm actually going to be wetting my brush for this one just because I want it to be quite pigmented. Because on its own, um, I didn't try it on its own when it's dry to be honest, but I just feel like it's going to look nicer when it's wet. This is quite a pigmenting color when it's actually wet, so I'm just going to place it. Look at that. This is like insane. And I'm just going to place it in the tear duct area and blend it with the shades. Even when it's wet, I still got some fallouts. Okay, so I'm taking Dr. Drake Remore again, and I'm just going to bring this color to the pink wing right here. And I'm just going to start fading it out just a tiny bit. And I'm just going to take whatever I have left and bring it back to the lid. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that line that I see. And I'm just going to take that first, first brush that I used. And with a super light hand, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. I'm just going to move on with the fun part, which is the liner. So I'm using this cream liner from NYX. And this is called White. And these are the gel liner smudgers. And it looks like that. And I'm taking it with a very fine little tip. And I will go ahead and apply this color on the waterline. And I'm also going to apply a thin line on top of the pink shade. 
and the light I'm creating, I'm just following the line that I did with the eyeshadow. Now I'm also using a black version of the same gel liner and smudger from NYX and this is just the black one, jet black. And believe it or not, these are super hard to take off so good luck for me after. They just stay on for such a long time but I do feel that they dry out super fast as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a thin line on top of the white. And then I'm just going to go ahead and create a thin line on the upper lash line. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys how good they are. Obviously, I ended up removing some, but I'm trying to remove these gel liner smudgers. But girl, like they're not coming off. <laughs> well, you would know this on the waterline would not go anywhere okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara and lashes the mascara i'm using obviously the one and only the benefit their real mascara which is my top favorite and then for lashes i am using again the one and only mfma pro light lash and they look like that and this is actually a fresh new pair that i am using today you can use code lbbynd for 10 percent off your purchase you can get the lashes you can get the glue you can get more accessories and you can also get the sponges as well mine is a bit dirty because obviously i used it today please use my code for 10 percent off your purchase and you get a pack of lashes that has five in it and it's so worth the price especially with my discount it's like 100 percent worth it so make sure that you check out the link in the info box for you guys if you are interested to purchase any of those product so let me go ahead and apply both on and i'll be back to finish up the face with you guys okay so let's go ahead and contour the face i am using the one and only the face palette from makeup revolution and friends because i love it and i'm gonna go ahead and use this shade and this shade i'm mainly more chai and then i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it a little bit with this one this is called mochaccino i believe i'm gonna go ahead and take chai first and contour my face with this color Gonna highlight a little bit with this color right here this is called cappuccino and a little bit of latte but mainly more cappuccino because it's lighter a little bit than latte i'm just going to pat that right here um kind of like where the cheek the cheeks are but a bit higher where the under the eyes basically okay just to make it easier for you guys <laughs> For blush, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. This is from the eyeshadow palette and this is called The List. And I'm going to take a little bit of that because I don't want my face to be too pink. Eee, this is pigmented a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my cheeks. My husband is literally watching Friends without me. I'm going to... <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. I'm using my Milk Hydro Grip primer setting spray and I'm just gonna go ahead give it a shake and spray it on my face that sounded really bad for highlight I'm gonna be using the highlight in the face palette and this is called black coffee and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of that and apply it on my face I'm gonna go ahead and fix up my hair and I'll be back to finish up the lips with you guys. So I'm feeling a bright pink, which is something that you guys don't see me wear often here on my channel, but I decided to go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collection and this is like, it can't be any brighter than this. And this one is called Jeffree What The F, I'm not gonna say the word. And I'm also going to be topping it with Ross Gloss from Makeup Revolution and Friends. So let's go ahead and put this on. Look how, oh my god, this is bright. Well, this is bright. So I might go ahead and add a little bit more blush just to kind of even out because I feel like it just washed me off completely. But I'm just going to go ahead and add the gloss. 
Alrighty you guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Just to let you guys know that all the products I use in this video is going to be indicated in the info box down below for you guys. Make sure that you go ahead and check it out. And also if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them all in the comments down below. I do answer back and I really appreciate you guys taking your time to comment on my videos. It really, really, really makes my day and I enjoy reading every single comment that you guys leave me in the comments. <laughs> So I still have one more palette to go for this series and I can't wait to go ahead and play around with the other palette and hopefully it's going to be a little bit better. I mean this one was a little bit better than the Taxi Cab. It just it didn't give me a hard time like the other one did so I kind of enjoyed doing this makeup look for you guys using the door frame palette. On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!